of sounding like a duck. I don't know if you can tell, but you'll probably be able to tell in the review. I'm sick, by the way. I don't just sound like a duck on a normal basis. I don't think. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be talking about and doing a full lip swatch and review video on the new Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. Now these products aren't like the newest liquid lipstick on the market, but they are fairly new and the reason they've been getting so much hype and buzz is because they're super inexpensive. If you guys don't know about the company Jordana. It is a very, very affordable brand and Jordana is actually the sister company to Milani. So if you guys know of Milani's quality and you know some of the products that Milani offers, Jordana tends to come out with very, very similar products at a much more affordable price. These sweet cream liquid lip colors retail anywhere from $2.99 to $4.99 depending on where you purchase them. I've seen these at Kmart and Walgreens and I know that the Jordana website just recently started carrying them as well. There are 12 different shades and there's a nice range of colors, everything from your nude colors to your mid-tones and your brights to your deeps and darks. Jumping right into the review, first things first, let's talk about the packaging. It comes in a plastic packaging with Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color written on the front. The bottom does have the sticker with the number and the name, and then the top just twists off, and this is the applicator that you get. It's a pretty typical doe foot applicator, except it has a little dip in it, so it holds a little bit more product. You do get 0.11 ounces or three grams of liquid lipstick in these tubes, which is about the same you would get in a Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick or an Anastasia liquid lipstick. Jumping right into talking about the formula. I'm going to describe these using a phrase that I hate. These liquid lipsticks are pretty good for the price. I really, really hate when other YouTubers say that because in my head, there are so many lip products out there on the market. There are constantly new lip products coming out from tons of different brands. And in my head, no matter what the price of a product is, if I don't love it, and if I don't love the formula, and if I don't feel good in it, who cares how much you paid? If I'm sporting a $3 liquid lipstick and I hate it, it's uncomfortable, or I just don't like the way it wears on me, I am not going to wear it. So you guys could probably catch the drift on what I think of these. I know my opinion is the unpopular opinion because I've heard a lot of rave reviews on these liquid lipsticks. And that's not to say that this formula won't work for everybody, but I have found that A, a lot of the colors are really, really streaky. When you try to apply them, they streak and they bunch and they are a lot of work to get on evenly. After you do get them on evenly, if you do, because some of the colors are pretty much impossible to get on perfectly, but if you do get them on evenly, I have found that they start to flake, which is so weird because the formula, while it does dry down matte, it doesn't dry down to that powdery matte finish. Now, while a slight tacky finish isn't a complete deal breaker for me, the main problem I have with these is as soon as they get even slightly wet, whether that be from my own saliva, I know that's disgusting, but you know, it happens, you lick your lips, whatever, or if I go to drink a glass of water and a little bit of water gets on them, these get so sticky that my lips, like when I'm talking, they just like stick together. It's like glue. I don't know what's up with that. I've never had that problem with any other liquid lipstick formula I've tried. I don't know if it's just me. I don't, I just, I don't know. And I haven't heard anybody else mention that. So 
It could just be something weird happening with my mouth, but I thought it was worth a mention. This formula can tend to sink into the cracks in your lips. And I've noticed that a lot with any of the more milky or muted colors. The overall wear of this product is actually not bad. They can flake and they definitely do kind of crust in the inner portion of your mouth, but they last a pretty good amount of time. I personally just don't like the sticky or tackiness in combination with the flaking, in combination with the formula getting on your teeth and you kind of have to watch it a little bit. I just don't love it. Now with all of that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into individual reviews and individual lip swatches of all 12 of the colors that Jordana released in this sweet cream collection. So let's jump into it. First up we have creme brulee and this one is a really nice light nudie pink color and this one actually still works on my skin tone a lot of times these light nudie pinks are too light but this one is very pretty strawberry cheesecake is a medium bright slightly corally toned pink color and this one as i kind of expected just judging it from the bottle is kind of streaky so you have to be kind of careful when you apply this one because you can get bald patches raspberry tart is a true vivid bright blue toned fuchsia pink color now this one does have a slightly thinner formula it almost applies more like a jelly finish but it's still pretty bright and really pretty mixed berry souffle is a strangely wearable purple i feel like this is one of the nicest purple colors i have in my entire collection in terms of lips and this one is actually one of the best formulas it applies super super smooth and creamy and very pigmented i love it mango sorbet is a bright true orange color and this one was annoyingly streaky i mean the other colors that were streaky i could get to work i just had to play with them a little bit this one just looks horrible cherry cobbler is the true bright red that jordana released and this one is really pretty because it has a slightly translucent almost like a jelly finish it's not a creamy red it's more of like a slightly see-through red which makes it really really wearable for all skin tones tiramisu was one of the hardest colors to get my hands on and I think I know why. It's a really, really nice, universally flattering, brown toned nude, very, very trendy. Sweet Marsala Wine is the darkest color that Jordana has in their sweet cream collection. This is a dark, like a cherry Bordeaux color. It's really pretty, but this one is also fairly streaky and it sucks when it's a dark color because streaky dark colors just don't look that good. Rose Macaron is another mid-tone neutral color. This one is more of a medium pinkish nude and I really like this color as well. I don't know why Jordana put these colors in the order they did. I'm just going based on the number orders but it goes dark to light to bright to light and it's just it's so confusing. Sugared Plum is another beautiful purple color. This one I would describe as a true grape with just a hint of a berry tone to it. I love it. Red Velvet Cake is the other red color that Jordana has in this collection. This one is significantly darker and deeper than the previous red but this one once again still beautiful and this one goes on more opaque not as translucent or jelly like and finally we have pomegranate pie and this is a neon fluorescent barbie bright pink i'm actually shocked at the application of this color because it is slightly streaky but given how bright it is it's not too bad. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys and you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did. The main thing I want to say about this formula is that I feel like it is somewhat similar to the new formulated Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. Like I said earlier in the video, Milani and Jordana are sister companies. So a lot of the products that they release in either line are very very similar i do think this formula is similar it smells exactly the same it has that really really delicious 
cake butter toffee scent but I do feel like the opacity on the Jordana versions is not the same I haven't found so much streakiness in the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams and I also feel like while these do have a similar tacky dry down the Milani ones don't get particularly extra tacky when they get wet only these do so now let's go ahead and get into the clipboard because you guys know that I have now ranked all of the liquid lipsticks that I've reviewed on my channel in case you guys haven't watched that battle of the liquid lipstick video I talk about 22 different formulas I will be sure to link that video in the description box down below check that out because I have a full ranking but I did want to throw these liquid lipsticks into the ranking system. Now, to be perfectly honest, because I can really just describe these liquid lipsticks with that phrase that I said, that they're pretty good for the price, I ain't about that life, so they will have to go in the bad list, unfortunately, and I will probably make them my new number nine. These are going to go right under the new formula of the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, and remember in the bad list the number one is the worst of the worst formula I've ever tried all the way down to the number nine being the one that is barely in the bad almost verging into the good now the reason I still did want to put them in my bad list and they're not going at the very bottom of my good is because I just I don't think I would ever purchase more colors of this formula. So if Jordana does release more shades, I don't think I'll purchase. And the main reason why I'm ranking them a little bit under the Milani ones, meaning they're just a little bit better, is mainly for the price. The Milani ones are quite expensive. I believe they're $8.99. So you could pretty much get three of these for the same price as one of the Milani. So that's pretty much it. That is my review on the new Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. I'll see you then. Bye. Roundup of all of my best and worst liquid lipstick. This is technically a six in one curling wand, but if you guys haven't seen my review video, I will 